Look at this guy. He's like, I'm off. What are you doing? Do not. What well, he's coming for a look at the fires. These kids are like, yay, we're waiting for the bus. And the national park is on fire. That is what you want to see while you're waiting for the bus. Oh, man, alive. Are these guys going to get here and put it out in time? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. <laughs> I love looking through these rocks at this sort of mountain road that we put together in the last episode. I think, can I fly through here? Let's give it a try. Oh, we can. Look at that. They still absolutely bomb it through here. But I just think that was an absolutely inspired idea. I'd like to take all the credit myself, but that was somebody else's idea. So thank you for your ideas. They have just been amazing. Let's just whiz back to our normal view. There we go. And I've got even more of your ideas, particularly naming ideas. Uh, you've been coming up with some fantastic names for our areas. And you've also pointed out a couple of little problems that I have. One of them, we're going to come over here. Um, is that accidentally put two schools of the same type in that just looked a little bit different and we have not enough high school oh, we've got high school availability capacity a thousand but i think why is that saying a thousand that doesn't hold a thousand does it oh yeah there we go look our one high school over here holds a thousand but even though that is all hooked up by all the mass transit this is such a long way to travel that these people are not traveling all the way over there so we do need a second high school over here um, let's have a look. That's a high school, which is quite big. I just want a little small high school we could squeeze in here. We've got our elementary school here. Although this, to me, would be very expensive land for housing, right by the beach, all of that sort of stuff. So I think it is going to have to sort of squeeze over here. So let's just see what we can do. If it means popping in... Oh, lack of power. There we go. It means popping in... A new path around the back. Oh, that fits perfectly. No, that's okay. I know why the power's gone down. I was messing around with my budget <laughs> a minute ago off camera. So we'll just pop that up to a more reasonable level and we'll check our water. Water is perfectly fine. Yeah, our city's expanded a little bit. So they should be all fine in a moment. So that was one thing. Thank you very much. So that's going to help all of these people get educated around here as well. Um, we also need to spend some money on some death care. This one here just isn't cutting it. And we can see that there's a problem with hearses going in and out. And I did use the move it mod on this. And I think it's broken it. Darn it. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use the move it mod to select it and then delete it. It's gone. And then I'm going to have to just pay the price and put a brand new one down, which I really didn't want to do. But there we go. And hopefully the trucks, the hearses, I should say, will start heading out immediately. Hmm. Why? Oh, why? Yep, think I've worked out what the reason is, as we can possibly see here, and I'm surprised nobody noticed this in the comments. Um, I've attached this road to here, which is just a tram road. There is no access to the actual road. I'm wondering whether I could um, force that in somehow by doing this. Well, this is going to be really weird. If I move that zone around a little bit that node I should say, and then try and attach that to there. I bet my hearses will now leave. Let's see what happens. Hey, there they go. Excellent. What I might just do is upgrade this piece of road here. Uh, what am I looking at? This one. There we go. So it doesn't quite look as weird. That's fine. That's fine. We can sort of deal with that. And then we're going to say, give way there. And I think that might just have to do because this was only temporary anyway. We've solved the problem. Don't worry, that's fine. Right, some fantastic name suggestions uh, from you because this is New Zealand, sort of based on the name of New Zealand, of course, because we have all the islands, got that New Zealand sort of vibe going on, that the residents of our city oh no not again <laughs> the residents of our city instead of being citizens would be let me get this right tiwis instead of kiwis which you would get in new zealand does that how does that sound to you tiwis if i can remember that i think we're going to stick with that one so that's going to be cool i like that one um these mountains up here now this is one huge 
mountain range and we're going to call this the pg tips <laughs> because i love that name that is a brand of tea that we get in the uk possibly other places as well the pg tips we may we may split that off and have like this is the pg tips and these are some other names but that is some of the names that we have now samuel cornock i think was that one which was great yeah i like that one excellent one or two other names so the next best name suggestion instead of magnolia national park this was suggested by pip smith was to name this chai key and key is that's how you pronounce it in the uk chai key because it sounds a little bit like chai tea so i think that was an amazing name here goes with chai waterfront chai beach i've changed this to instead of chai heights and then finally we've got this little area here although that is part of the chai key because that part comes all the way along but a fantastic name upper tea glamping because it is like top of the range there's only like four tents in here top of the range glamping um so what we're going to do is put a little zone in here uh, this is a bit separate from that one there. There we go. Instead of the Sheffield district, this is going to be Upper Tea Glamping. So thank you, George Pangon, I think your name was. There we go. Excellent. Fantastic name. Right. So let's dive in to what we're going to be doing this series, which probably looks like fighting fires over and over and over again. Look at this guy. He's like, I'm off are you doing do not what well, he's coming for a look at the fires these kids are like yay we're waiting for the bus and the national park is on fire that is what you want to see while you're waiting for the bus oh man alive are these guys going to get here and put it out in time what do you mind park i'm trying to watch the fire and you're parking right in the way what i do notice is an absence of helicopters <laughs> Where are the helicopters? Uh, now, I've had this mentioned a few times. A few people have said to me that you don't need these little towers. Um, but you do. That's what tells the helicopters to come over. And that is certainly within the range. Are they being used at some other fire? Oh, that's empty. Oh, excellent. Yes. Landfill site. Stop empty and we're going to replace that. My helicopters are over here. Helicopters in use three out of three. Oh, we've only got... Yeah, okay. They're probably taking ages to get over here. Well, flipping heck, better late than never. That's what I can say. All these houses burnt down, living by the park. It seems to be, yeah, Verde Beach has come through the portal in the middle of the mountain and is spreading its fire all over the place. Oh, man, alive. So before we dive into all of our expansion we need to do, I'm just adding in a little path here because we've got a bus stop there. I put a path here over to the high school and then I would like a crossing on here. So we're going to use the node controller, add a node right there, put a crossing in. Don't need the lights, that's fine. Not too busy, I'm sure the kiddie winkies can cross over there. No problem at all. And I might even add another crossing this side over here. So they can go, oh dear, upset everybody and they're all going to leave. Don't leave. Please come back. Come and live here. You know you want to. We need more people. We need more people in the city. We really need to expand. So let us take a look at what we've got available to us. We've got this space over here past Upper G Glamping. And we've got the Highland District, which I'm waiting for a really cool suggestion to come in because I'm recording a couple of episodes ahead. What we can do with this amazing island over here. So I'm going to save this. We may, you know, we may make it into like a university island or I don't know. You come up with some ideas, an amazing park, something like that. But for now, let us head over here. So how much of this square have we got? We've basically got all of it up to that sort of coastal 
spot there, which is fine. We've got this highway along the top. So we could just do with, let's have a look, let's have a look. Some sort of, we haven't got much space on here, have we? Just some sort of little junction on here. And what I might just do is just put a simple roundabout junction in this area here. Let's see what we can do. So I'm going to give this a go with the roundabout builder mod. There we go. That's what it's called. If you want to go and check that out, that is about the size I think we need to go. Let us go a higher elevation though. So I want that about there. This must be the thinnest road known to mankind. You'd come round the roundabout up on two wheels and even then you're lucky if you're going to get through there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Let me redo that. Okay, that's not too bad. I've just moved things around a little bit just to get that working. And then what we can do is we can take these off of here. I think that's lined up okay. So as you come up here, there we go. That's almost, it's not straight, is it? But it's almost not too bad an angle. And then if you're coming down, there we go. So that's not too tight to turn coming down. And then the same coming up the other way as well. And the same going down. So that's not too bad. I think that worked out okay. And then we want to set up this. Now, as this highway, as we know, is two lanes instead of three lanes coming through, what I'm not going to do is go from two lanes minus one down to one like you would with normal lane mathematics. What I'm going to do is use a normal highway and upgrade the piece of road beforehand and when you come on like that. So you get a dedicated lane like this coming off. There we go. And then when you come on, you've got a dedicated lane coming on. Uh, we just have a bit of Z fighting, I think, or something there. So if I just go... It's just going to be just a touch too much. Just come out a little bit like that on each one. So that shouldn't be too bad. And then what we can do where the road joins, we'll just do a bit if you go there. So you each get a lane and then they can merge down here. And then I would like to do the same the other end, but I'm not entirely sure I can because we're heading out... So even with Anarchy on, I mean, there's ways of messing around and yanking the road in with move it and upgrading it and changing it, but I just think we'll go with that. What I will do is I'll give these a dedicated lane, control left click. Yeah, and that should be fine. That should be good. Just need to move a few trees out of the road so you don't clip into the leaves as you're, there we go, sliding around the corner. And then we just need some roads coming through here into our new area. Now, this here is built up. So it's on a nice flat grade growing all the way through. So we really could do with... I'm just thinking whether we have a bridge going straight across and then coming down over here. So I'm just thinking what to do here. I want to use uh, this road to come off of here. Now, if we went straight from there over the top, we are going to be clipping right through the railway line. Um, I, ideally, I don't want to dip the railway line down. I want to just keep that at that same level. So now I'm thinking, could we come off of here and go straight down like that? And then maybe come through here somehow and make this another bridge. Let's just pause the game and just remove those. So that now came level through there. Could we have this as a bridge over the top? Do you know what? I think we could. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these as near as possible because I'm assuming in real life you want to make the bridge as small as possible. To keep that straight, instead of turning this on and off down here, the toggle snapping, I'm just holding the Alt key. And you can see it adds that green line. So we know it's going to keep straight with what's behind. Uh, this will be a bit different because it's going to go off at a weird angle. So what I might just do here is I'm going to grab that. Did it not grab the railway line for me? Nope. Okay, I'll do it myself then. Let's... Oh, no. We haven't unlocked. Darn it. Well, that's not going to affect anything, really, because we can't use any of these things anyway, because we haven't even... Well, we can't even click on the tab and unlock it. But that's what I'm going to do, is bring that really close, then put a little bridge over the top. Pretty sure by the end of this episode, we'll have 5,000. Um, so... 
yes that's the plan so let's then set up this roundabout with our priority signs control shift left click and then check the speeds that we've got going on here so under here's 100 that's 80 that's 40 this can definitely go up let's have that as 60 but it's still faster to go underneath so that's good and then this will come through here and into our new area which is exactly what we wanted so I just wanted to show you something that I've been doing because as you might have noticed I am struggling to make money in this city which is a little bit odd I've never really struggled to make money before one of these guys all complaining about low land value okay we'll come back to that um, and what I have done is I'm going through all of these options here and adjusting my budget accordingly to try and save myself some money so for instance tons of electricity let's just drop that one down there we go still in the green with a little bit of room for growth water well it adjusts both evenly so sewage is about where we need it uh, trash facilities i put that down a bit to save a bit of money i have with all of these but the outcome of dropping those down means the area of effect isn't quite as high so then we get this low land value uh, popping up but i am making more money and i don't know whether they're going to end up leaving or not or whether they're just going to get used to the low land value i'm not entirely sure but that's certainly something to keep in mind but i am making more money so i'm going to watch these people here see if they see if these symbols turn red and they leave or whether they're just happy to complain <laughs> that make oh wow happy to complain and leave it at that Ooh, we might be struggling a bit yeah look see here we go low land value has gone red and then they're gonna leave but i just really really need the money and um, i've also gone through my mass transit and adjusted my buses uh, my buses are doing really well actually we've got loads of people queuing for those uh probably could drop a couple of buses actually because look my explanation is you've got buses that hold 30 with only two people in not even half filled so we don't need all of those i'm gonna drop that to six on our east-west line our industry line there is a ton of buses with hardly anybody in so again and that's 14 buses i'm going to drop that down to like four and then our tram line isn't the most used tram line in the history of tram lines it did have 17 i've dropped that down to four vehicles i mean there's a couple of people waiting here and there but our city just really isn't big enough to try and pay for all of these things yet but yeah i'm gonna see if i can balance things out a bit just so we don't lose all of our citizens and hopefully continue to make money yeah so just having a look at our land value it's all pretty blue all over the place blue 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 a little bit of green along here because we've got our park but yeah that has been severely affected so let's find out exactly what it is that's causing this to be so blue okay so i have put my health care my fire and my police back up to 100 it was on 50 percent so let's just unpause the game and keep an eye on our land value there we go that instantly jumped up from a lighter blue to a darker blue which is what we want and the low land value complaints are disappearing okay so that is something worth keeping in mind if you're trying to save some money and now this has gone a bit more greener along the front here so that obviously affects an area of effect around each of those buildings as well as saving you a little bit of coin so i think we're gonna have to just keep struggling on something we could do of course to balance that out is to put some parks in there's absolutely no parks in this area at all uh, the dog park i believe is the cheapest one at five thousand or we could have a park with trees that's quite big i just want a teeny tiny little park in here carousel three thousand five hundred ah oh, that would be perfect a nice little beachside carousel um, let's pop it in would that reach no let's pop it in the middle here we're going to lose a couple of houses but that's okay let's yeah let's do it there excellent what was that little tweet i saw there this new plaza looks really sophisticated <laughs> yeah don't know about sophisticated but it's definitely got a guy in a blue suit and a carousel so hopefully that has pushed the land value up a little bit maybe not as much as i thought it might do but 
yeah that will do for now okay so back over to the area that we're building on what i would like is sort of a roundabout around this area here quite a large one and maybe have like a mini park in the middle something like that and then we can have some roads reaching out to these other sort of quadrants that we've got over here uh, we've got this little area down here as well which we might uh, sort of build into as well which should be quite good so let's do something like that so let's maybe just use the two lane road here for now we're gonna have to go yeah this is the free cursor mode that's fine let's turn that on or off and on again so it kicks in there we go how big should we go with that i want to make this a reasonable size on ground level maybe a bit bigger yeah go on let's go one size bigger what are we up to 104 let's go for that yeah there we go that's not too bad get a semi reasonable size park in there i'm not expecting this road to be too 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 busy but we shall see and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna connect the nodes on this like that and like this so we can then connect any rows that we wish and it won't change the shape of the roundabout fantastic and then what's next well let's just use these cheap roads to mark this area out and we can always upgrade when we have a little bit more money so that's what i want i want that sweeping into there so that'll eventually be a bigger road this will eventually be a three lane road going around and then we'll build off of that and then we could have let's have a look let's have a look at this area what have we got here sort of like a very small little area through there so we could add a tiny road maybe coming into something down here let's see what we can work out yeah so i'm thinking we could have some nice posh houses in the middle maybe clear some of the trees from around the outside and have something in there like that so that is going to have to connect let's just bring that one up out of here for now yeah that'll do and then again i would like a road sort of going around the trees sort of like a road on the outside yeah so let's see what we come up with And how about that? Go and have a cup of tea and some lunch. Come back and you've got 217,000 tea leaves to spend. And we've just won the award for the most attractive city. Hashtag happy mayor. Yeah, really pleased with that. Cool. Okay, so uh, we've now got some money. So let's upgrade some of these roads then um, and get this thing expanded. Let's upgrade that. So let's put that to that. So that's going to come into there. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the ones going out here as well. As more of a sort of highway, a highway road. Yeah, big road like this. And then we can have these as a nice smaller road going around the outside. Uh, let's have a look. What options have we got? Oh, 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 oh. Now, this would be perfect for a tram. Um, what have we got? What have we got? Trams. We've got all sorts of different roads. Do I want to go for another tram or a trolley bus? I do love my trams, and I think that would be really cool to run in a big circle around here. And then we can have it connect up to sort of like a bus that could then come along and bring you along to like another area all the way over to here. Sort of trying to keep all these connected up because they've got a lot, a long way to travel for industry. It's going to be all the way over here and over here. It's getting further and further away. Hmm. And we're going to have to have another... Oh, man, yeah, because the other tram is all the way over this way. We're going to have to have another tram depot because there's no way we're hooking it up to this all the way down there. Yeah, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, monorail would have been interesting, but we're nowhere near monorail yet. Unless we leave it and wait for monorail. I'm just looking at this area here. Why don't we leave it and wait for monorail? What options have we got for monorail roads? We can't look until we've unlocked it. Okay, is there any small monorail roads in this? No, there isn't. Do you know what? I'm just thinking we'll leave it as a normal road for now and then, yeah, maybe upgrade that a little bit later. Okay, let's pick a road.
Now, something we do really need is a university. And I'm just thinking, actually, we might just repurpose this little area here and put in uh, one of these universities here. I like the look of that. And if we could sort of butt that up against the road there. Something like that. Let's take a look. We can adjust the roads a bit as well. There we go. I think that fits in there really well. I would like a car park in here, but at the moment I don't have any other car park assets that I can just place down. So we'll just go with that for now. But that should really help with our education boost. We have eligible 1,164, uh, which need to go. So we've got a backlog. Yes, so we need to make sure that that is sorted out. Right, I'm going to just run some water pipes over to this area. Okay, so that is all hooked up and ready to go. Already got a couple of students traveling all the way over here, but we will get this hooked up uh, a bit easier in a moment. Uh, I also want to connect this up over the top. Oh, still too high. Well, let's grab those, do control H, make it the same height as that. There we go. And they can get over the top if they so wish. Well, we can set up this roundabout as well. So we'll take priority signs, control, shift, left click. There we go. No lane changing in the middle. They can pick their lane when they get into this middle section. And then we were going to upgrade that to three lanes, weren't we? Completely forgot about that. So let's do that as well. Because I always prefer to have an extra lane on the roundabout than there are lanes coming in or going out. This is the one. No parking. So let's just upgrade those. Excellent, 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 and excellent, and excellent. And then we'll just do this again, because then we'll get our dedicated turning lanes coming off. Good, and we'll give way signs coming on. Fantastic. So that is probably a good start for this area. Now, I am wondering whether we want to go high density here. We do have the high density option, and have it as a separate little high density area. And then we're going to have another one over here as well. Because at some point we are going to have to go high density. Why don't we do that and see what it looks like? So if we're going to do that, we need some more internal roads as well. I'm just thinking for that one. If we've got grass, then there's no parking. If we've got cycle, there's no parking. Let's go for this one here and see what we can set up. Okay, so this is the area as it stands at the moment. I think it's very important that we get a bus going to our university. So let's grab our bus line uh, that can literally go outside. It's going to come all the way around and I'm going to stop that. Yeah, let's stop that outside each of these four little areas that we've got here will go oh, actually no, i want that to go out now don't i so that's going to come down here and i'm going to have it go all the way down the highway and it's going to take up another one of these stops here on our little little mini transport hub that we set up last time and then it's going to come straight back and that is going to be it so if anybody else wants to use it they can use the tram and the other bus lines to come here and then get that bus over here which i know is a bit further if they live in chai beach 
It seems a bit weird. They will probably drive, actually, but anywho. So then that's going to come in... Mm, that's going to come in round the roundabout. It's going to end up sort of backing up on itself, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that, that. I want to stop down there. Stop over here. And then back to complete it. There we go. Fantastic. So that covers that area, getting everybody over to our little transportation hub and covers bringing people in, hopefully, from other places. Um, so that is going to be bus line three. That's going to be our university, university line. I'll just call that university line. Yeah, that'll do. University line. We'll change the color to green. Yeah, we haven't had that. <laughs> Adjust the buses because it's going to base that on distance. There's going to be so many. I think five will be more than enough. But we'll come back and see. There we go. And we're also going to rename this as well to our university. There we go. Excellent. Fantastic. Just what we need. Now, over in this new area, which we don't have a zone for yet. So let's just pop in a zone. There we go. So high density, maybe something. I'm going to look through, unless you've got some fantastic names that you can suggest to me in the comments below. You've been so good with that so far. So this is university. There we go. Might slightly adjust that. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, this one here, this is going to be just standard high residential and then we're going to see how that looks. But they're also going to need some services because they are going to complain like mad if we don't do that. So I'm just thinking, where do we just go for the basic stuff? Because this is all just so expensive. We'll spend all of our money doing that. So let me see if I can put these down in a way that's going to hopefully service everybody. I mean, in the middle of a highway, that would just be absolutely tragic. <laughs> in the middle of a roundabout, I mean. But I think maybe if we go like that, and then this one here, we do that over here. And then this one here, uh, that's the police headquarters. So if we do that one over here, so it's mostly covering most things. Education is going to be a big one. We're not going to be able to, oh my goodness, cover all of this in education. But certainly some parks. Uh, what do we have that we could pop in here? I did say I wanted to make this a park. I think this is actually going to be a proper park park. So we're going to do something with this. But for now, that is just going to stay like that. So whatever name that we come up with for this area, Chestnut Hills, whatever we change that to, uh, we'll change the name of the park to it as well. But I think that would be cool for people walking in there. That reminds me, I would like to add some walking paths in. that'll do and then yeah school 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 so we're going to need an elementary school i think this is the smallest building but i bet we're going to need more than one of these so i'm going to pop one in there and then i'm going to pop a high school i know this is the smallest type of building that is going to go over here so they can walk to and from those quite easily and then as we get more money we'll see if we can upgrade that and then some little dog parks i think we just need one or two let's go for something a bit different we have something that's going to fit in that square that might add a push that's not too bad this one here and what's the area of effect that is almost over the whole thing almost not quite let us slot that in there and have a quick look zip that's okay if we grab the move it mod we can just shiftify that over ever so slightly and then as we get more money we could pop in some more do you know what? i actually do want to put one the other side as well that is going to go right there we're going to spend that money because we're going to be getting taxes like mad soon is that okay no trees overhanging the road there we go the other thing that i really want to put in here which i can't afford now is the child care center and the elder care just so we can get our birth rate up and our average lifespan up but for now that is going to have to be it so let me fill this all in and then we'll see what we get right so just before we time lapse this and see what we've got uh this is what i'm going for so we've got low density around the outside high density in the middle and then we've got a bit of commercial dotted around here and there we do actually have office zones available oh now that will be good because at the minute they're traveling to work i'm going to put some office zones in where i said about this car park 
over here just like a few school office buildings and then this university zone i'm gonna jump into the policies and i am gonna oh i still can't ban high rise that'll be five thousand population okay well we'll do that and then we'll see how it goes so let us see what we're gonna get in this area just one more thing i'm gonna do here in chestnut hills is put the international theme on here um so we don't get european houses built in this area as well that's what i want to go for i'm just wondering whether we should also do that in university so if we go to theme enable theme manager international just in case there's any buildings that might pop up over there as well excellent right let's see what we get Okay, well, let's just take a little look around this area. Things are going fine on the roundabout at the beginning. No issues, no problems. Very good, very good. No traffic, not too much. Little bit busy with some more people coming in as they're first moving into the new area. Lots of people walking around. That is what we want to see. Fantastic. I'm liking that. And these are the builders I wanted in here. This sort of international look. And hopefully, as time goes by, this is going to fill up even more. A couple of buses around here. Need to spread out, fellas. Spread out. <laughs> you're not going to get much done when you're that close together. It's looking nice. I am liking this a lot. And I think with a nice, cool-looking park in the middle, this is going to be fantastic. Not sure how many people are going to visit that park, but it's just going to be an interesting spot. And this, yeah, this university. I like this university. We do have unlocked one of the, I think it's the trade school. But I wanted to go for one of the different universities this time. So we'll wait until we can get that. But, yeah, we definitely need to do some detailing around here, don't we? But at the moment, I think that is looking pretty good. What is our population? 4,500. Oh, we're getting there. I want to get up to 5,000. So if we keep this going, hopefully enough people are going to move in. We are having a problem with education here. So let's just take a look at what's going on. This is only 68 in the elementary school. Oh, okay. Uh, what about the high school over here? 166. So we've got plenty of space. And 79. Okay, that is not bad. I'll tell you what we probably could do to help people get from one side to the other. So this one here, they can walk out here. They've got the paths here, and then they've got to walk all the way around the outside, and then over to there. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's okay. It's not too long. I don't really want to put 
could I put a path going across the middle here? Do you know what? That might actually speed things up for people trying to get from one to the other. Nah, I think I'll leave it as it is. I don't want to. I don't want a path going through the park like that. That'll be okay. Cool. I'm pleased with that. Let's just make sure they've got enough electricity and water. Uh, so we just got a couple of notches on that one and that one. Yeah, we're fine. So let's just leave this thing growing. I'm gonna put this all the way up and hope that's enough. Is it enough? Oh, it's barely enough. And the more people get moving in, the worse it's gonna be. <laughs> yep, we, we need to do something. Yeah, not many options at the moment. I think it's going to have to be another coal power plant. And maybe we could sort of pop that over here where we're sort of maybe almost starting a de facto industry type area so maybe i will just plonk it here for now and then later on when we come over to redo this area there we go we can sort of rebuild that and fit it in excellent and because i know this is going to get noticed by an absolute ton of people we're going to make sure that that is connected to the rest of our city as well there we go because this bit only goes up here <laughs> brilliant and there we go small city fantastic now we get access to monorails trains cable cars that everyone's been crying out for we will give those a go let's have a look down here yeah new monorail roads oh all sorts of options yoga garden we've all been waiting for that that is absolutely brilliant and i believe we're also going to get an extra square that we can unlock oh not yet no we have to wait another oh man this is going to be tough you know this is going to be tough because we've almost used up all of what we've got apart from this island Oh, we've got this over here as well. Look. Oh, maybe we can build another little village over here. Or a little town. To then push us up and try and get over the 5,000 amount. That would be good. You can see here we're actually making more money now, which is fantastic. Few little issues with not enough educated workers. But that's because, remember, we've got a backlog of university students. So... When they get through, that will definitely be much, much better. So I'm looking forward to hearing the names that you come up with for our university area and these little housing areas around the back as well. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and I will see you all very soon for the next one. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye bye.